All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back here for another recap video. It's been a while since I had a recap, but uh, we're back in full force after last week, which was a short week, a nice vacation week. Good time to kind of relax, get some mental space from the market. But now we're back and crazy, crazy market today on SNGX. SNGX was the main stock of the day, finishing just shy of 500 bucks. And uh, SNGX was, was, was very nice. It made a great move. Uh, the spread was a little tricky at times. I did have some tough fills, some fills that were um, not favorable coming in or coming out. But I was able to kind of work around that and uh, come out with a decent kind of base hit kind of day, which is great. Uh, but, but this move was so great. You know, this move was so great. I should definitely have... Put the, put my uh, foot on the gas pedal just a little bit harder today, but uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty. Hindsight is twenty twenty. The previous couple weeks have been pretty lackluster as far as momentum. This was the first really stock we've had in the past uh, couple weeks that really held up and kept on going uh, pretty much all day long, up until about uh, one or one thirty in the afternoon. But yeah, nice move here from 183 all the way up to 1483, which comes out to about a 600% move. It's definitely been a while since we've seen a 600% move. And usually when we see stocks like this, when we see stocks that are making great moves, like outlier moves like this, it tends to continue throughout the next days and coming weeks. So I definitely want to be ready for tomorrow. I want to be ready for tomorrow uh, for the next stock that will pop up on news because maybe we can see some sympathy momentum from SNGX. So SNGX, uh, very nice. We can just take a look here at the, the, uh, the intraday charts and maybe we can go through some, um, uh, some fill. Uh, the other stocks I traded, Q QURE, LGVN, IVP, ATNF, uh, nothing crazy on those stocks except ATNF. We did have a great move on ATNF. I was watching it here for the break of three uh, I thought the volume was kind of light, but uh, we it did not, it did end up holding up and continuing higher. And I just could not get a gra uh, a grasp on it. I could not get any green on ATNF. And again, this one since it's a micro float, we were having trouble with the spreads. Spreads were a little wide, and of course, you know, a lot of the times when it's a wide spread, you can find yourself getting in near the ask and getting out near the bid uh, without any price improvement. So it's something that was definitely apparent today. Uh, but SNGX, you can take a look. Very nice uh, pre-market uh, kind of stair-stepping pattern, which is always good to see. So opening up about 200% uh, gap. And at the open, we had an attempt to red to green here. We did have a, a failed red to green, flushing all the way back down, but we're holding support here. This is always good to see, bottoming tails and holding the support. Uh, and curled back up, curled back up here, and uh, this is where we squeezed out. This is where we squeezed out short sellers who had potentially their stops here near the highs for the potential uh, for the potential fade, but they did not get the fade. This thing curled up on some pretty decent volume, topping out at 1.7 million shares for a one-minute candle here on the halt resumption. And I was able to make some profits here, but I was definitely, I was definitely wary. I was definitely wary because I was definitely cautious because we haven't been seeing stocks like this. We haven't been seeing stocks holding up. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe we'll see the swipe of the highs here, but we're not going to hold up. That's what I was really expecting. I'm like, ah, we're not really going to probably hold up. We're probably going to come back down and just dump and fade for the rest of the day. But we did end up holding up. We did end up holding up a nice range here on the one minute chart, uh, but on the five minute, it is a nice, I'd say ex elongated bull flag holding the five minute 90 MA, finding some support and ripping up for another leg, man. This is crazy, another 55% leg, another consolidation and breakout. This is some clean action. This is, well, on the five minute, it's clean. On the one minute, it's a little choppy, but uh, yeah, look at all these. Uh, topping tails and double tops and triple tops but uh, it's always great to see that we're seeing the holding these consolidations and curling back up that's as a sign of a strong market 
Uh, it's a fair, it's a strong sign of a strong market. So let's go in um, and look at uh, the archive and just take a look at, and we'll take a look at the, um, we'll take a look at some of the trades that I took today and we'll see where I can improve. Okay, I definitely don't want to show that. I don't think I showed any of that. I did have to log out and log back in because sometimes uh, sometimes Charles Schwab likes to lag here or Tinkerswim likes to lag at the open, so I have been um, logging out and logging back in uh, to kind of refresh the system. So I might have to do that at like 9.29 every day or 9.28 every day. Um, for some reason, it's been happening more often. Just very slow fills. But usually restarting the, the platform does help. But yeah, we had a nice, I was trying to like kind of fish for the bottom here, a couple scalps, but we didn't end up having a, a significant bounce until later. And yeah, this is the crazy curl. So the entry would be break of this pivot tier at like 620. If you're trying to trade high, you want to get in maybe 620, but here I am kind of doing my my stupid scalps here where I should be holding for a bigger move. I'm only trading 100 shares. I'm, I'm not even thinking that this is going to be you know, a crazy, crazy move. And then before you know it, this thing just, just teleports. So let's take a look. And boom, teleports into a halt up, halting up. Very nice dip and rip trade though, on the halt resumption. So halt resumption, we open up lower, slightly lower. I get in for the break of 755. So getting in here, adding, nice maybe 20 cent, 30 cent trade there. Very nice, I name up like 350 at this point. Try to catch the dip there, oh, okay. Almost got caught by the dip here. Perfect timing, and then it comes down just a little bit more. I mistime it, I'm out for a small loss, and now it bumps back up. And now it pops back up. So I mistimed that dip, but I had the right idea. I had the right idea. It looks like I had a little small little scalp there. I'm gonna pop back over to level of 755. And then we did have a push back towards the highs, but yeah, crazy action here. I really like this. I really like this action, very volatile, very volatile, and yeah, very overall pretty decent. So, had that nice consolidation, and then again, here we go, man, holy crap, and here again, I'm playing way too conservative, way too conservative, 100 shares, and then this is another teleport. Break of the pivot here at 850. Break of the pivot, I need to be in. Boom, not even any time. You didn't have any time to get in for the breakout. You just had to anticipate it. You had to be in before anticipating it. You can't time the breakout on something like this. It's just teleport, stop losses triggering, and it's just, yeah, there's a dollar fifty a share right there. But I completely missed that. Completely missed that. And then we have a nice little tight bull flag here nice tight bull flag breaking to the upside and squeezing through 10 for the extension and then we go up to 11. crazy nice pullback here nice bounce 40 cent bouncer off that off the pullback off the low if you could have timed that under 10 it could have been pretty decent i think i did try to go for it Let's see. All right, it's gonna be about a couple seconds. So boom, there's 10, 15, boom, right there, 980. I need to be in here, man. I gotta be in. This is an extended dip buy. This is a, a dollar and 20 cents a share dip in an instant. I need to be in. I had the right idea, in at 99, out at 1035. That was a great trade. That was a great trade. Now if we can put on some size, then that really would have been a great trade. But 
Either way, I had the right idea, I executed, and nice 36 cent share trade. But if I can do that on 500 shares, 1,000 shares, then that can t turn out to be a pretty decent day. But yeah, I mean, practice, you know, practice makes perfect, of course. Practice makes perfect. But yeah, in this type of market, in a stock given these types of moves, definitely got to capitalize. And uh, looks like I was a little bit too gun shy today. Definitely a little bit too gun shy. A little bit, um, a little bit uh, nervous of the spreads. A little bit nervous of the volatility. But the kind, of, this is the kind of market you can make some serious coin. Definitely some serious coin. Running up here now to eleven ninety nine, pulling back. I think this is where we top out at 12, right? Yeah, we top out at 12. Another consolidation. And that was it. That was pretty much the day for me. I didn't I didn't hang around too long for the break of for this break. I was done trading by 130. Yeah, I was not trading at 130, but um, you know, they had a decent I think this is another teleportation trade. Just yeah, anticipating the breakthrough high and just teleports all the way up to 14. Uh, for those of you who are trading naps, you know, congratulations. Uh, hope we did well on that. Well, you know, right after that, massive dump. Massive dump. I think there was warrants that were issued. I believe so. And which caused the stock price to, to um, kind of um, crater back down. Uh, but we're still kind of holding decent levels. We're at seven bucks. We gave back about fifty percent of the move today. But uh, who knows? We might see some some action, some volatility tomorrow on this stock. But I prefer to to trade something fresh, something fresh on the gap scan with fresh news. Uh, you know that would be ideal. But yeah, pretty decent day today. I'd like to see the market to continue to be hot. And as these days start, you know, to get hot, it's definitely going to add to my confidence, and it's definitely going to bring me to push share size a little bit uh, bigger. Push my share size a little bit bigger, and it always seems like the first stock that comes around that does 500, 600, or 1,000 percent, you know, that that stock is a lot of the times it's it comes unexpected. You're not prepared. You undercapitalize on it. But then the preceding stocks or this, yeah, the stocks that come after, you know, you're more ready. You're more kind of anticipating a potential big move. A lot of traders are anticipating a big move because we've recently seen a big move and they want to pounce on that next stock that makes that 500, 600 percent move like we saw today here on SNGX. So looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully you see something nice. But overall, you know, a nice basic kind of day up just shy of 500. Hopefully you guys did well today. Uh, but if not, it was a tricky day. It was definitely a tricky day. I mean, I know a lot of people have taken some big rips, some big losses today on the SNGX spreads and on just the volatility. It, it's it's unforgiving. The market is unforgiving. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you can manage your risk and you know live to trade another day. That's what it's about, living to trade another day. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Later. Peace.